guys, Elliot here, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75939, Dr. Wu's Lab Baby Dinosaur Breakout. This set came out on June 1st all around the world, where it released in North America on July 6th at Target and Walmart. Uh, I mean, Lego stores and Walmart stores, where at the moment it is only exclusive to those two retailers. This set is for ages six and up and has 164 pieces, two minifigures, and two dinos. So let's take a look at those dinos and those minifigs. The first minifigure we're gonna take a look at is Dr. Henry Wu. This is the same Dr. Wu we got in the $30 uh, breakout set from 2018. And it's a pretty nice little minifigure. Last time we saw Dr. Wu besides that 2018 set was all the way back in 2015. And that was with in that exclusive poly bag. I think it's exclusive to Europe or something. Otherwise, looking at this figure, it has some dark gray pants with a new torso print that says doctor and a little ID card. He does have some back printing and he has an accessory of a little baby bottle for the baby dinos. He has two ex uh, expressions, one where he's distraught and another one where he has a neat little grin. And he has the brand new hairpiece they made in 2019 and a color of black. So yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, minifigure. Nothing too interesting, but it's a cool one to get. The next minifigure and the last minifigure is Owen Grady. And he finally has some new torso printing for this new wave. So let's take a look at that first. For his new torso printing, he has some, he has a brown, a weird caramel color jacket, to be honest with you. He has some new back printing showing off a, sha a sh sash, my bad. And the sash goes from the front with some canisters with some green stuff inside. His vest opens up to reveal a small little shirt. And as you can see, it's a brand new design because this was is what they used 2019. So as you can see, they've definitely made a new torso print. But the leg print has been and has stayed the same since last year with the Hollister and the, um, the belt part right there. Um, pretty nice minifigure. Um, we do get them in a lot of these Jurassic World sets, um, but it's very nice to see a new torso print um, for him and not just another gen gen basic character we got in all the other waves. The first baby dino we're going to take a look at is the baby Ankylosaurus, and this is a very, very cute little part. Of course, it is one one mold. And it was dual molded with uh, sand greenish at the top. There are some spikes coming out of his top part. And a one, a one stud connection for a minifigure to stand on him. He has four legs which can be connected onto studs here. And he has a very cute little printing for a baby dino expression. He has a tail like the Ankylosaurus do that can knock someone over just like that. Very nice, very nice new part by Lego. And um, you can never go with... Uh, baby dinos and especially new dinosaurs because the Ankylosaurus dinosaur is new to this wave of Jurassic World. That's it for this baby dino on to the last baby dino. And here is the baby Triceratops which is a very nice new mold and let's look at it. So at the front here we have a baby Triceratops design with a smaller rounded thing and some smaller horns and a smaller mouth. He has some eyes and some printing on the eyes showing some eyelids. And he is dual molded with some darkish green, well, an olive green, and some tan at the bottom there, as you can see. At the sides, he has some nice dot printing at his legs and his stomach. And he has a one by two connection for these one by twos. Or if you want, you can have Dr. Wu or any minifigure you want riding him just like that. Or if you don't want him to ride the figure like that, put on the one by twos 
then you can sit a minifigure on top of this dino. So that's a pretty nice little uh little feature there. He has a small tail and a new color for the Triceratops, actually, and olive green, as I said. That's it for the figures and the dinos. On to the side build and then the lab. Here is the side build, and by side, me side build is just a little desk in the laboratory. It is built on some plates, some dark bluish plates, with a nice white tiled off design. It does have some little accessories on it, so let's take a look at those accessories. The first being a laptop. Lego has been using this new part for a very long time now, so it's not a very surprisingly new part, but it's a pretty nice one to get in this set. You can open it up and it reveals a little sticker here as the uh, computer screen and some uh, some and a keyboard right there, and you can put it on those plates. Over here, we have a neat little build of a microscope that is looking at a see-through one-by-one circular stud. So that goes on top of the grill piece right there, as you can see. On the sides of the table, there are some clips. And on the right side of the clips, there is um, a small little tranquilizer gun. And it has the, the, the new part they introduced for the Lego movie with the clip on the top to put something on. And there's a little, uh, a little dart there so you can put your dinos uh, to sleep. Not forever, because that would be pretty uh, messed up for a Lego set, but you know what I mean. Over here, we have Dr. Wu's accessory of the baby bottle for the dino, and that is on a one-by-one one right there. And then we have a brand new printed exclusive one-by-one one by one brick of the amber now if you don't know what this is it is probably the main part to jurassic world and jurassic park basically a mosquito how dinos these dinosaurs were remade is basically from the prehistoric period or the period with dinosaurs mosquitoes would have gotten the blood of dinos and why while they still had the blood of it uh they would um they would die and be, uh, go into the ground and be, become amber. And basically in Jurassic Park and World, they're mining amber to find um, mosquitoes to make more dinosaurs with the blood. So that is a very nice exclusive one by one right there. And then on the left of the table, some more clips to show off, show off another little dart there. But that's it for this build. A nice little side build with that very, very nice exclusive one by one. Here is the lab build. So let's take a look at the left and then the right. Looking at the left here, we have some paneling here with some grill parts and some gray little plates as there. Over here, we have a, a, a small little build showing a little in incubator with two dino eggs and some grass there. And uh, on a clip, a translucent uh, circular uh, Technic pin that can go up and down to close the eggs. But in the set pictures, it shows this little uh, build holding it up. On the side here, we have a small little arm here, which can go up and down, which is made from some Technic connections, and it can go left to right with that Technic connection. Looking more here on the right, we have a sticker of a baby Ankylosaurus with some DNA, and I'm, what I'm guessing is facts about the dinosaur, and a nice little yellow cup, which goes on that stud right there. In the middle here, we have a sticker of an egg, a dinosaur egg, and whatever the dinosaur is gonna be, I'm guessing, and some more facts about it and the DNA. At the top, we have a very nice new sticker on this translucent, um, uh, what is it, six by six? I don't know, um, but this is a very nice little translucent place, piece here with a sticker of the Jurassic World Island, which is Isla de Nubar, um, Nublar, my bad, 
And as you can see, there are some caution signs saying power is off and then uh, some minifigures showing the danger. And that goes at the top right there. And that is a very nice sticker. I would prefer it to be printed, but eh, whatever. On the right here, all the way at the right, we have a small little uh, sticker here with a baby triceratops and some information about it as well. And then here, all the way on the right, connected to these two by twos that can move, uh, this can go back and forth. And this is a small little glass uh, mirror with on some on some clips there with a sticker of the baby triceratops trying to break in. Now, looking at the last parts of the set. Here is the little um, enclosure for the dinos. And here we get this brand new 1x2 part in gold as a little faucet. And this is water. So you're going to have the Ankylosaurus drinking some water. Here we have some nice little leafage. And at the side here is where the very main play feature goes into. Now you can put the Triceratops wherever you want. But you can put it right here to show off, just like in the sticker, that the Triceratops is going through the window. And here on these Technic pins right here, you can push this forward and this breaks the window. And that totally fell off my table. But as you can see, it is connected to some 1x2s, very loose, uh, very loose connection. And that allows the Technic pins to knock it over very easily just like that and as you can see we can do it one more time right there let's make sure it doesn't fall off my table again and as you can see that flicks that flicks off very easily and it is a very very nice uh little build uh, that they have uh, decided to put in there. So yeah, that's very really nice. And then at the back, it just shows uh, some control paneling with some stickers on black 1x4s. But otherwise, that's it for the set. On to the packaging, the instruction manual, and then the final verdict. Here is the box for this set, which is in the $20 box size that we get for $20 uh, Lego sets. This is the same box size that we got with that uh, $20 Jurassic World set from last year. But as you can see, it has the piece count, just like all the, and the name and the set number and everything that the North America boxes have. At the bottom here, we have uh, the minifigures and the tri and the um, dinos. Um, surprisingly, they haven't put the cage, which they usually do with the dinosaurs on these sets. They usually show a cage um, behind the dino, so that's strange. And at the back here, it shows the play features of the set, how this thing can carry in an egg, which I did not show off, but yeah, that is a play feature. That How that thing can open and how uh, you can arrange this however you like. So yeah, that's it for the box, on to the instructions. The instruction manual is pretty straightforward, showing off the QR code, which is the online instructions, and a uh, little art for the set. At the back here, we have the win thing, where you can go submit feedback on the set. At the back here, we have the final verdict of the set, and we have the other sets of the new wave, being the gyrosphere set, of course, uh, Dr. Wu's lab, the Gallimimus attack, and the raptor set right there with that very nice blue raptor. All of these sets are really nice. Will I be picking them all up? I'm not exactly sure. But here at the bottom, which I found interesting, because they also did this with last year's Jurassic World sets, it says limited availability. So I don't know what that necessarily means, but I'm guessing these sets are going to retire pretty soon if they have that on. So yeah, that's it for the instruction manual. On to the final verdict. So, is this set worth $20? In my opinion, it is a very nice little set for $20. You get very nice dinos, and you get uh, very nice minifigures, to be honest with you, with a figure we haven't gotten for two years now, and a brand new exclusive figure to the set with the brand new torso printing. And you get that very exclusive one by one stud there. This is honestly better than last year's Jurassic World uh, $20 set, which was the little drone set. Because in that set, you only got one diner, dino, diner, and you got less pieces. 
and not very exclusive things. So I think this is a better set to get instead of uh, the uh, the last year's twenty dollar Jurassic World set. But anyways, guys, that was it for this video and this review. Make sure to write in the comments what you thought of the review and what you think of this set. I really like feedback. Make sure to like if you did like the video. Um, and subscribe if you want more reviews. Um, and hopefully I can daily upload. I know I didn't upload yesterday. You don't have to alert me. I know I didn't. Um, this video was actually su supposed to go out yesterday. Um, but I, I forgot to record it on, in time. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.